Well, we dropped down in pretty much the exact spot that we were looking for, this ledge that runs along over the sand. And it's the only real structure on Rooney's of, of any sort of mention. We just generally worked along this ledge looking under all these little dark spaces. There's a lot of nooks and crannies in this section of Rooney's and we just felt that this was the most appropriate place for a little seahorse to hold up in. It was only when we started looking that we realized how difficult this was. All little sponges and weeds and many, many different organisms that, that encrust the, the underneath of the ledges here make looking for something as delicate and as small as a seahorse fairly difficult. I mean, these little animals could be hiding in any little crevice here. And I then came across the usual rock cod family tiff, a tomato rock cod here giving a coral rock cod a hard time, a little territorial battle going on. A little diversion from our hunt. The bigger of the species taking up the role of the bully. And eventually winning the fight. A little bit further along the ledge, uh, quite a big honeycomb moray actually sleeping on his side, happily pushing water through his gills. Looking very inactive. No eyelids to close his eyes, but for all intents and purposes, actually asleep on the reef today. Back to hunting for the seahorse, little fronds of black coral and all sorts of little plants growing in these dark crevices. Again, hunting through all the stuff, looking for the little creature, expecting to see it attached to one of these tendrils. Signature pose of the seahorses with its tail curled around something and that was how I envisaged it here. Little razor clams in amongst all this life in the caves. And the last thing we found before having to ascend was a raggy scorpion fish happily tucked into a little sponge. So today, alas, no seahorse, but we'll keep trying.